Hello, everybody, and I'm just sounding the alarm, sounding the alarm. Come on in, and my Beyonce's voice, ring the alarm, honey. Come on in, family. Come on in, YouTube family. We have to sound off. We got to sound the alarm because it's a blasting story from Radar Online. They saying Kenya Moore and Nene got into it, and Nene said, how you going to get a divorce when you were never married? Can you check it out? Can you check that out? I thought y'all Nene was going to come back. Nene was coming back and she was going to be full force. All right. Her gun was lock loaded and she sprayed the shit out of Kenya Moore. Okay. Because that was like, whoo, that's a touchy subject right there. And if she said, how you going to get a divorce and you weren't even married? Oh, that took the tea, honey. But I'm going to stop saying tea because most black people don't drink tea unless they sick under the weather or they got a sore throat. I'm going to bring out the coffee pot. I'm going to pass the pot around so you can just drink. Let me pour the uh, coffee in your cups, and we're going to sip on this for a long time. Now, if you want any other uh, beverage of choice, you're going to have to bring that yourself. B-Y-O-B, baby. B-Y-O-B. But I got the pot. I got the coffee pot running. It's heating on the stove, and once that uh, sound go, that whistle sign go off, we'll be passing the water around so you can drink this instant coffee, Maxwell, Sanko, or, or whatever you drink out there. But, honey, yes, she did. Yes, she did. Got the store from Radar Online. Nene ain't playing with baby girl Kenya, okay? And I already told y'all, they cut from the same cloth. It's old school versus new school. And the both of them are the same. When it comes to this cat fighting and, and, and wanting to be the head uh, B.I.C. Okay. <laughs> but the title they give us, they didn't give me a uh, journalist. So we're just going to say a staff reporter. They reports as an article title, Real Housewives of Atlanta Blowout Caught on Camera. Nene slams Kenya as thirstiest person she's ever met. That's right. Brought it out today. All right. It says leaks rip, rips more over her divorce and brutal confrontation. All right, now the, the battle of the words, the battle of the words. Okay, like they say, uh, what did what they say? Your, your tongue can cut like a knife. Yeah, something like that. Y'all get into it, figure it out, bring it back to me. Y'all know I'm seasoned. I can only keep so much in my mind. I can only talk so far. Okay, without running out of breath. It said, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the thirstiest Real Housewives of Atlanta star of them all? Now, first one, my first thought would have been Kenya Moore, then Nene, or you could reverse and say Nene or Kenya, but it would have been those two, okay? Then it goes on to say, Nene Leakes and Kenya Moore had another blowout fight while filming. The Real Housewives of Atlanta and Radar Online has exclusive details about the latest blowout. Now, y'all know I like to give y'all a greeting here, too, but I just had to sound the alarm and tell you why we here, what we here for. We want to know the who, what, when, why, and how this episode happened on camera that they were filming, of course. But welcome, welcome, welcome back, family. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. Okay, welcome for coming back to the channel. Let's get back on into the story. I just had to give y'all a little greetings and salutations there because I like to do it that way. Anytime you come to my house, and this is my house that you're in, we like to feed you real well. We like to give you good conversation and give you a word of wisdom to go forth and be great once you leave, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, as filming for season 12 of Real Housewives of Atlanta, winds down and insider snitch to radar about the second big brawl between the ladies which was caught on camera okay keep pouring the coffee keep pouring the coffee where's the cream and the sugar where is the cream and the sugar all right we go on back to the article it says nini and kenya got into a huge fight nini called kenya the thirstiest person she's ever met the source field the real housewives of atlanta were together filming in atlanta that's Atlanta, Georgia, y'all. Okay. Hot Atlanta is what we Southerns call it. When Kenya started talking about her divorce from Mark Daly, Nene ripped into Kenya saying, how are you divorcing a man that you didn't marry? What? Sign the alarm, people. Sign the alarm. Because this is what I always felt. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. But I'm glad Nene just brought it out for the people that didn't want to take it. 
uh, the way it was brought out or said, but people were thinking it. You know, you have those people that want to say stuff, but they too shy and they too scared that people gonna, you know, give them constructive criticism and, and they they not gonna be able to stand on their own. But I ain't one of them people. Uh, uh if I had to say something, I'm saying I'm gonna say it at the cookie power where they made. Okay, but I'm gonna say it. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna say it nice. I'm gonna say it respectfully, but I'm gonna speak my mind on the subject matter. Okay, going back to the article, it said. Nene ripped it to Kenya saying, how are you divorcing a man that you didn't marry? The insider told Radar exclusively. Kenya's secret marriage out of the country has been played with rumors that it was an illegal union. The couple announced their split in September after getting into a fight that was also filmed by Bravo cameras. The snitch told Radar that Nene nemesis Cynthia Bailey came to Kenya's defense. See what I'm saying? Sometimes, uh, Cynthia just need to sit down, like, what name was, uh, Kim Zozak told her in one of the episodes <laughs> on one of the seasons, uh, Cynthia, you just need to sit down and look pretty, don't open your mouth, <laughs> and that was, woo, woo, that was a real shade, that was some real joning right there, okay, and I'm beginning to thank myself, Cynthia, just sit down, <laughs> they don't need your help. These women are very much fortified and can take anything, okay, that one another can throw at each other, okay? They are fully grown women. They can shade the hell out you when they get ready, and they know who they are. And that's one thing I can say about Kenya Moore and Nene Elise. They know who they are, and if they have to throw blows, that could be arranged as well, okay? Just long as I don't go to jail, you don't go for the face, okay? Because we need to be presentable. But getting back to the article, it said, um, nothing has changed uh, with Cynthia. She defended Kenya, and that made Nene mad all over again, okay? And I'm like, what more? That. If Cynthia gonna fly over there with uh Kenya, think of Kenya gonna hold her down, okay? She got another thing coming because uh Kenya would throw Cynthia under the bus given the right time and the right uh we call it environment. And it's if it's something that's gonna benefit Kenya, she yes, she will, she'll throw everybody under that bus, all right. Remember, it's her and baby Brooklyn against the world. So baby Brooklyn need her mama to stay gainfully employed. So Kenya gonna do whatever she can and will to keep baby Brooklyn in the likes and customs that she's used to living in. Okay. But going back to the article, it says, um, as Radar first reported, Nene was skeptical about Kenya's divorce and planned to find the right time to confront Kenya on camera. Okay. Nene has been suspicious of Kenya for years. Starting when she got secretly married and wouldn't tell anyone the name of her husband. Yes, I do remember that. The source said. Now they're splitting up. She's calling Kenya out for being so thirsty. Radar, <coughs> excuse me, readers know how their breakup fight went down on September 17th. Kenya aggressively confronted Mark at an event he was hosting. Y'all remember that Wimbush House event he was planning Something called the Black Man's Lab or something like that. Uh, and Bravo was filming an insider told Radar about a party at the Wimbush House, which was filmed for Real Housewives of Atlanta on September 17th. Yes, I did. I did. I remember. I definitely remember that because I gave her free publicity on my show, giving the date time of the event. And if anybody wanted to partake of a $200 dinner, because I think that's where it started with uh, a, a, a very special package they put together where you could meet a greet. Some of the stars of Real Housewives of Atlanta, but you had to be paying $200 for your plate, okay? But going back to the article, it said the insider told Radar why she was so angry at her husband. Mark told Eva's Marcel husband that he is tired of Kenya's shit, okay? He also called her attention for it. So basically, the rest of the reading was just coming from uh, regurgitated past uh, posts and articles written on what started the fight. Between her and her soon to be ex husband, Mark. Okay, the source also told Radar that Kenya angrily confronted Mark about his shocking comment. Okay, and if you go, uh, if you go on um, Radar Online, uh, we call it um, uh, station or channel, they'll have some videos of what had probably transpired or whatnot. I can't put it on my. Uh, what do you call it, a uh, show, because I don't have that capability, okay? Uh, then it goes another subtitle. It reads, Nene and Kenya got into a fight on the cash trip to Toronto in August. 
Right off first reported, Kenya said she didn't appreciate Nene being happy about her not being on season 11. A source told Radar, Kenya was fired from Real Housewives of Atlanta after she, after she kept her marriage secret and refused to have Mark film with her. And then it just goes on to another subtitle reading. Uh, first fight when Kenya and Nene were fighting in Toronto, it got intense. The source said Kenya played the victim, of course. Uh, then it goes another subtitle, Temporary Friends. Nene and Kenya has hashed out their differences, the source said, about the August fight in Toronto. They made up in the restaurant with the entire cast being present. Uh, another subtitle says, Never Afraid. Nene waited for the right time to call out Kenya on her marriage. The source says she wanted to do it with cameras rolling, and she did. Okay, that's just a small lady trying to keep her hype going, you know, on. Don't matter what you're talking about, you're trying to stay relevant in the social media world. And it and ups her ante when it comes back to when she has to uh, negotiate her new contract. Okay? Meaning more money, more money, more money. Then there's another subtitle that says infidelity. They say U.S. Weekly reported that Kenya, Kenya's husband was caught having multiple affairs while they were married. Uh, the sad ending, I'm not going to read it, but it's basically, you know, Mark and Kenya giving their spill about they're not, uh, they're no longer going to be husband and wife. Da 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 da. Um, sharing it all was another subtitle. It's also a. Uh, um, the rest of the article just regurgitate what we've already been uh, served up previously, um, like through over a month span of, uh, of time when we're following Kenya Moore, Mark Daly, Nene, Portia, and anybody that want to get in and tell a story pretty much about what's going on during filming. But y'all, I had to bring that story to y'all. Woo, child. I was like, uh uh, Nene. <laughs> Then they got them boxing gloves on and they in the ring and they just had, you know, hashing it out. Okay. Blow by blow. So expect Kenya to come back with a rebuttal. Okay. She going to come back with something. Just give her time. Maybe it'll be a one or two day span, but trust and believe Miss Kenya Moore is going to come back full of fit and she's going to be locked and loaded and going to try to spray Nene ass down. But that's just the way it goes in the entertainment world, trying to stay relevant. The most salacious story out there will get the, uh, the best views and hits, like they said, in uh, just living or in the career world, the, uh, the one that got the squeaky oil, uh, no, the one that has the most squeaks gets the oil. You see what I'm saying? The most person that's out there hollering, making noise, gets the most attention. And between Nene and Kenya, they are battling it out, and I'm here for it. Just all down, get hands, because we ain't got time. But like I said, even they, being on the show, they already signed a contract. They, they can't get no legal legalities going on. They can't get no lawsuits going on, because it's supposed to be drama. They'll probably get paid a little extra money or all their hospital bills paid, but they can't really sue each other. And if you don't believe me, go to my, uh, go into my archives look for a video that says Real Housewives Rules and Regulations and I give you the whole spiel of what they can and what they cannot do. Okay? As being members of a contractual agreement with True Entertainment and Bravo Enterprise. Okay? All right. But hey, it's been wonderful. It's been a blast. I will see y'all next video. And remember, we drink coffee over here. We don't pour tea. We drop the coffee down because we black. And then we got some white folks out there. We can, we can do some tea here and there. But we know y'all like that coffee too. Y'all just trying to be, you know, a little bit more classy and tasteful. But black folks in the South, we like coffee. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing and continue to do both. Because I'm always going to be breaking down some stories over here. Some you're going to like. Some you're not going to like. Some you're going to care for. Some you're going to like. Why she do that? Okay. But, hey, it's a family affair. So, when you come over to my house, when you're tuning in, we're going to treat you just like family. We're going to serve you up. And we're going to sit down and talk about this stuff that's going on out here in this social media world. What's going on? What's uh, What we need to talk about and discuss. Or just every day, just drama in our lives. Okay. So, get down in them comments, uh, make your uh, opinions known, make your uh, your viewpoints alive, make them come alive, okay? Because you know I'm always responding back to you all. I can't help but do it. And go to my community page on my uh, YouTube uh, feed, <coughs> and I have some, um, what, what do you have? Uh, those little... Holes. Thank you, Sean. See, I'm, I'm losing, y'all. I'm trying to do too many things today. But I always have my daughter and her boyfriend over here trying to help me, you know, uh, 
go over commentary or whatnot, what I should talk about, what I shouldn't talk about, you know. But go on and take those polls because you are the other people that make it happen. Y'all tell me by using those polls, I get nothing out of it other than just interacting with you all. It's not giving me any money, so don't uh, think that's the um, the point of me trying to get you to go over there. I'm trying to build a rapport with y'all. I'm trying to treat y'all like family. Sometimes I have to chastise y'all. and Sometimes I just want to love on y'all. And I want that back in return. Okay? Sometimes y'all have to chastise me. All right? And I'm cool. I'm open-minded. I can take it. All right? I'm just that Southern season woman. Okay? But y'all be good to each other. And I will see y'all next video. Bye!